Hello guys, what's up? I hope you're all having an awesome day. Today we're going to be doing something I've wanted to do for quite a long time with the R33 Skyline. We're going to be attempting my first ever, <laughs> and it's probably going to be really bad, but we're going to be attempting my first ever splitter on a car. If you guys remember the R33 Skyline that we have here right at the moment, um, it never came with the under tray, so you can see the road all through it. You can see the wheels and everything. It looks, it just, it looks cheap and I know that I want to fix it. I just feel the whole front end will feel a lot more premium and just a lot more tied together with something that just covers the bottom and also I could put a little lip out as well so it just looks a little bit cooler. Um, so today I'm going to head down and go get some stuff from Bunnings Warehouse as well as a jigsaw and we're going to see how we go making our own fun splitter. Alright, so we just arrived at Bunnings. Uh, one thing I am going to have to do, I didn't tell any of you guys about beforehand, was the fact that I'm going to have to get two different sheets. Um, they sell the biggest size, which is, I need 170 centimeters by 70 centimeters, and the largest that they sell is a 2.5 meter by like 1.5 meter, and it won't fit in the back of this car. So I'm going to have to get two small sheets, and then I'm going to have to put them like a joint in the middle, which is, it's no big deal, it's no worries whatsoever. Um, just a little bit annoying, but oh well, I'll work something out. Alrighty guys, so you guys may notice that the lighting now is a little bit different when I face out there. Yesterday I spent a few hours mocking up this right here, well not a few hours, a few minutes, mocking up this right here. This right here is a massive LED light that uh, I got from Booster Kings, well Alex. And uh, I managed to sort of mock it up in a way that I just drilled through here and put two bolts in there. And then it goes around the back and it looks onto the shelving, so that way I have some awesome lighting. Now when I point the camera this way and this way, so I'm super happy. And also, it really lights up the cars at the front, like it makes it super easy and super nice. Also clean up a lot of the shelving, just mind the uh, power steering relocation there, all the stuff there, all the Ryobi stuff up there. And uh, finally sorted out all my socket sets. I'm only missing a few. I'm only missing a few. We got the new socket set right there. Everything I could possibly need. Super, super happy about that. So yeah, today what we're going to be doing is I bought some of this right here. This right here isn't the stuff I was going to use, it's actually a little bit less strong. This is a 3mm thick. I didn't get the aluminium composite stuff that I was going to get, I got some PVC foam sheets. So this is just like, yeah, just it's really, really sort of weird stuff. It's super, super light, which is cool. Um, but this stuff here I won't really care about as much or won't do as much damage if it comes off. Um, this isn't going to be a crazy splitter. Um, but one that I really want to sort of just mask up the bottom. So uh, the worst thing I think about it is though is the fact that underneath, if you guys can see, you don't really have much of a lip to work with. So we're just going to have to like use some small hardware, go up right there in the middle, and it's going to be an absolute pain to try and get sorted. But we will be able to sort of that. Actually, there's a bit of a bit of area there actually. That's cool. I'm guessing that that's where the original one bolts up. That's super sick. And the plan is to go as far back as this right here. So there is going to be a bit of uh, cutting involved and stuff like that. Plus we're going to have to also cut around the tow hooks as well. But uh, we should have that all sorted. I'm really keen to get into it. Um, so I think first of all what we're going to do is we're going to get some cardboard. I'm going to leave the bumper on the car for now. And see how well I can mark around everything. Go get some cardboard first. See, just see how well I can mark around everything before I end up doing anything. So that way I can kind of work out what I need to do and uh, work out sort of how far things need to sit back. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how we go. So, so far this has been the easiest way I've been able to find to sort of mark up everything underneath the car that I need to cut around. Because um, if you have a look up underneath here, you guys can see first of all I have this uh, tow hook right here, which I want to cut around and so I can have it hanging out the bottom. And also this front brace that goes right there and all the way to the front of the radiator. So pretty much what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut around that whole section there. So I'm gonna put a hole in it for the tow hook so that way we can still access that. And then I'm also going, and then I'm also gonna basically draw a line so it goes up and around that front arm there too. So we now have the front bar down here at the moment. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put one of those big sheets of plastic on the ground first. And I can trim around it. So as I said guys, the other piece wouldn't fit in the car. So uh, what I'm going to do instead is join two pieces and then merge them in the middle. So I'm just going to have to try and find the exact middle somewhere. Right. 
Alrighty, so I'm just gonna trim out these little sections here. So, so where I need to actually attach the splitter is the radiator support here, and then also we need to cut around the uh, toe mount there. So I'm going to quickly cut all this off here so we don't have any of that excess there. And then I'm either gonna cut it straight across there, uh, actually yeah, I will cut it straight across there, and then sort of curve it out as well, so that way uh, it looks a little bit nicer underneath the wheel well there. Another thing I might also have to adjust before I end up doing the final design is I need to, um, I'll need to maybe cut out a section there because if you could imagine wheel lock and stuff like that could potentially come into the guards and actually scrub that out. So uh, I'll have to have a look at that too. Righty, so I've never used a jigsaw in my life. Let's see how we go, hey? Rightio, so that's my first cut. Uh, I decided I would just leave this little section for now because I might even make it look any I might even make it just look good with uh, the way it is now. So we'll see if this fits around. I think I might even have to chuck the front bar back on to make sure I can get the right uh, dimensions and stuff, but that's looking really good. Rightio, so as you can see, we've got sort of half of it, well, roughly half of it. I'll, I'll be able to sort of work around that when I get there. It's kind of it's kind of a little bit difficult to sort of show you guys exactly what I want to do, but um, if you guys can see now down here, that looks really tidy up through there. Oh, you guys can't really see it. Looks really tidy up through there. Especially the way it sort of goes around that toe hook there. Looks really nice. And uh, also if I jump around this side here, you can see that it works around that section there. If I quickly just push that up there, it works its way really nicely around that section there. So, Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do, the plan is to get what I've already got there. So the underside of the car is the main bit of what I want to work around. Um, now that this is all perfectly measured out on this side here, I'm going to basically flip it on the other side and make sure that the back of it matches up perfectly because if I try and like obviously cut around here at the moment, I could end up with uneven sides because I'm honestly like, it's, it's really difficult to measure around all that stuff there when you're having to transfer onto cardboard and then cut it and then, you know, just sort of, you have to kind of plan for a little bit of error. So the easiest way is just gonna to be to do the inside first, make sure that that all goes together properly, and then what I can do is measure that exact center on the front bar, and then measure and cut around the front, and that way we can get a nice little sort of splitter look. So anyway, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put them both flat, I'm gonna put this first sheet down, and then cover the next one perfectly with it. I'm going to flip that image right there and cut it out once again, and so that way we can put them both perfectly side by side and then make sure they all match up perfectly again. So there you have it, that's gonna be the bit that works around the inside of the car. So that's where the radiator support is and these are where those two brackets sit and then it comes out all the way to the tow hook and all the way out and then flat straight out to each side of the guard. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure that up perfectly with the front bumper, trim around the outside, and then hopefully we should have a nice looking split. The best part about doing it that way there was the fact that if I do have any mistakes, it's on the inside where you can't really see it as much. I was still gonna have to figure out a way to mount it all up because there's not much area to play on any of these parts with uh, hardware or anything. So it could be very, very interesting to see how it all goes together, but uh, yeah. This is going to be the easiest way and probably going to be the way you could look at it the nicest around the front. So, Okay, so the bar is now perfectly centered over what I want the under tray to be. Now I just got to figure out exactly how wide I want these, uh, how wide I want these splitters. And not the front, I want it wider at the front than I do around the outside. I just feel like it gives it a nice little sort of staggered look. Um, but I'm going to have to find something wide enough that I can use to do it. I know there was a couple of things on some videos that I have to go back and watch um, where you can like put a tool around the outside and trace around it, but I don't know. This could be a very interesting looking splitter. <laughs> we'll see how we go. So I found this pretty sick. If anyone, I guess, has the exact same pen and the exact same socket set that I have. What I was trying out was like, the exact sort of size of the end of that pen right there fits literally perfect in there. 
if you can see there's got like a little pen marker at the top. So I found out if I got the socket and the pen, the socket perfectly spaced out the entire front of the splitter. That's sick. So I think I might go around and keep using that little method. Okay, so I've got it all marked out. The socket worked for the outside, but not for the inside. Uh, it's a bit, it was a bit weird. So I ended up just using this piece of paper and that's decently thick. Like that's probably as thick as I would want to go. Um, so that way I can trim it back if I really want to. But apart from that, it actually looks really good um, all the way around. The sides are nice and thin and then they get to a nice wide front. So anyway, we'll chuck it up on the box again. Trim these out really, really carefully. I'm so excited to see how this all works out. Right here, there we have it. I'm pretty stoked with that actually. It's even on both sides, nice and even all around the front. And also we have enough sort of room behind it. But now when you look through the front bar, you won't be seeing the road. That's sick. Heaps, 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 heaps nicer. I'm gonna put some zip tires down in the corners down there and then jack it up in the middle so that way I can retrofit the front bar and that way I can work out all of where my mounting points want to be because uh, obviously this just hanging down and, and using like three little bits of hardware per piece of PVC is not going to cut it. It's going to hit 100 k's an hour, slip down underneath the car and I'm never going to see it again. The goal is to mount it up as many bits of hardware as I possibly can and then I'm also going to see if I can get those front, uh, those front little strut holder things. So yeah, it's going to retrofit two zip ties in the corner and jack it up the front. That way I can get under the car, see exactly where I need to drill, if I need to manipulate any of the sort of bits on the inside there to work around the car. But uh, at the moment, I'm super stoked with how that looks. Can't wait to see it on the car. All right, so you can kind of see now what it looks like. It is pretty aggressive, I must admit. I might even back it off a little bit, but I put the bonnet down. There you go. You guys can kind of see how nice it's gonna look. Oh man, I'm so happy you can't see the ground anymore. All right, next biggest job is to go through and mount them up and oh, sort of work out how I'm gonna do the mounting at the back. And I also bought a whole heap of hardware from uh, Bunnings as well. Oh, and massive shout out to Ryobi too for uh, hooking me up with the jigsaw as well. Hell yeah. So I also got a heap of washers as well, the spring washers and stuff. So um, that way they won't back out or do anything crazy under vibration. So. And this is, uh, because this is like a like a foam PVC sort of thing, it, the screws will actually dig in so they won't back out as easily too. I'm gonna leave a link for the material I used down in the description. It's not the best material for making this sort of stuff, I will admit, there's a lot better stuff out there. But the foam PVC was easy to cut, it's nice and light, and um, if it does go sort of, like, it was like 28 bucks for one of those sheets, it was easy. So, uh, and they just have it at Bunnings everywhere, so. Um, I would like to use that larger section of, I think it's the aluminium, aluminium composite, I think. I would love to have used that, but I just, it wasn't there today, so. Um, and the other stuff wouldn't fit in my car, so getting two pieces was the easiest way. And uh, it actually matches up really nicely at the front, so. Um, yeah, we'll keep going and get this all mounted up down the bottom. Okay, so. If I have a look underneath really quickly, you guys will be able to see that it misses everything underneath so incredibly nicely. Like, uh, oh, you won't be able to see there, but it misses absolutely everything. I think the easiest way I'm gonna be able to go about this is actually attaching it to the front bar first and then lifting it up into position and then trying to get to it because then I'll be able to put the car on jack stands and work my way around it. The hardware at the bottom is actually looking really good. Luckily though, I just eyeballing it with a quick measure, I actually managed to drill through every single one and get it perfectly into the front little lip. Because if you guys can see down here, we actually won't be able to see there. 
the lip that's up there is tiny and I managed to get them all 100% perfect which I was yeah that's a <laughs> I don't know how I managed to do that but yeah so they're all sorted A lot of people might think that putting like all of these bolts in is overkill, but my like, oh man, the first time I drive this thing, I'm gonna be petrified of that thing falling off. <laughs> I'm just gonna do way too many bolts than I think I need, and then some more to make sure that this thing doesn't go weird. A smart person would have taken the protective plastic off before he put the hardware in. Oh well. Here's what she looks like. Really, really nice actually. Turned out a lot better than I thought. I know it's not the right plastic for it, but it actually came out super nice. Like all this stuff here, it has like a really nice sort of matte texture to it. It doesn't show fingerprints or anything crazy. And uh, it's really nice and light. Very, very happy with it. And you know, if it's not the right material, now I have at least a template of what it's gonna look like on the front. Righty-o, now what to do, let's chuck it back in the car. There you have it. That looks sick. This light's really coming into its own now. Oh, look at that, it's getting pretty dark outside. The front of the workshop is looking sick. Man, I'm so happy. It's awesome when things just work. Oh God, it looks like proper daytime now. Could be like the only thing I learned in my film course was to make sure your videos have good lighting, so. <laughs> look at that, I'm so happy. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna try to carry it away. The R33 looks sick. I am uber happy with how that looks right there. Obviously, if I did this again, I would just use one piece. I'd probably wait a little bit and take in like Max's Ute or something to go out and go get the stuff. Um, I also do have to go around the outside of this right here because you can see it's a little bit wavy. Um, maybe another day I'm gonna go around and sand the whole lot to make it more even because Sarah came out and she's like, Okay, so the, the whole reason I did this right was because Sarah didn't really like the look of the car, um, simply because the front of it just, it looked too, it looked too just, you know, together. And I had to agree with her. When you look at the front of the car, you can see straight through the road. It just didn't look complete, if you guys get me. So the whole reason I wanted to do this was to sort of make the car look complete. And it, like that right there has just finished the entire car. I just, oh man, I just love the fact you can't see the road anymore. It just toughens up the front end. <laughs> I am so happy. All right, so the next biggest thing is working out where I want to attach this piece here, underneath here. Now this is like, this is pro like that's a, that's a lot of force I'm putting on that there. I don't have any worries about it falling off now, but I do just want to clean up this here because I don't want to have it flapping around like that. So I do want to attach it up here. And that's probably the, the best thing about the fact that I've actually put a break in it is because I can actually attach it up there, but I don't want to drill through this support right here. Um, I am going to zip tie it up here just for peace of mind. Um, and yeah, but uh, apart from that, I don't think we'll have any issues. I just need to find a way that I can at least zip tie it up there or do something. I'll, uh, I'll work something out. I'm sure I will. Alrighty, so one thing uh, Max did have laying around is these extremely long zip ties. Um, so I've already zip tied them up here and I'm pretty happy with how strong that is. And uh, it's already reduced a lot of the play in the splitter. So now I'm gonna do, um, because I can't use anything up here to, uh, to, to sort of attach it to or bolt it to, I'm gonna do a zip tie around this cross member here and a zip tie around there. And then I'll join them in between and then just have the zip tie sort of over that, so it's pushing that up and that way it'll stop all the play. Um, I know obviously zip ties aren't the greatest thing to use, but I'm really, really happy with how that's sitting up. And I guess only time will tell sort of how it goes, but yeah, I reckon that way 
Yeah. And that'll also make it a whole lot easier to take the front bar off if I ever go to a track event. And when I take the splitter off or the front bar off or anything. So, yeah. I'm actually, I'm super happy with how these zip ties are holding. So, alright, let's do that and I'll show you guys after. Yes, I know. Not the prettiest thing in the world. But, it is a lot stronger than I thought it would be. That's... <laughs> I'm very, very happy with that. Very, very happy. Alrighty, so now I am like over the moon with this car. <laughs> Just the splitter along with all the brand new grills that we did and the shiny intercooler, the plates. Man, this is such a sick car. Right here, so I'm interested to see what you guys think I should do about uh, sort of mounting it up to the back uh, because obviously I'm not that satisfied with zip ties and I never will be. Um, obviously they're great for some things but uh, definitely for something like this especially when it could potentially rip the front bar off. I'm not exactly sure if I want to keep it like that way but um, yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments because there's a lot of you guys out there that are a lot smarter than me about cars and automotive stuff in general so please I want to hear all of your feedback down in the comments. I'm going to quickly drop the car back down now. Don't you just love when stuff works the first time and there's no complications and just nothing? Man, I am one happy Zaki right now, just saying. The splitter with the headlights and the wheels and the beautiful white paint. Man, this thing is friggin' awesome. I love it. I also love this. This was the best thing I've ever done. Massive thanks to Alex for giving me the light. And honestly, like, I didn't think it was actually going to work out that cool, just like being able to hang there and stuff. But, uh, works so well. And I think I need more of these lights, like, all around my garage, to be honest. Like, I could probably hang them for a lot of different places. Um, probably like the door, the top of the door there, maybe somewhere like on the, the garage things, maybe even down the middle there. I could hang them a lot of different places. So if you guys do like these lights, let me know and I'll grab some more. Because that way I can sort of work more on the garage and stuff. Man, that's sick. Just finished up this side glass here with all the rest of the slap stickers. Um, so on this side here, I had the Falcon slap, the Zach Body slap, and the Savage Sarah slap. And this side over here, I have the Break Your Roll slap, the Zach Body slap, and the Sarah Hates Your Car slap. So, man, all these stickers look so good. I'm so happy with it. Oh, guys, and that reminds me, all of the merch is now back for sale. So if you haven't actually gone to go check it all out yet, make sure you check out the link down below, www.zackwardy.com. Go grab yourself an awesome sunset tea. You guys probably won't be able to see it, but yeah, definitely go check it out because I am so super proud of them and how much hard work went into that whole big drop. All of the orders, um, the first round, went out a week ago. A whole heap of you guys have already started receiving your orders, which I'm super happy about. But yes, everyone should be getting their orders very, very soon. But if you haven't got your order yet, you should get it very, very soon. And definitely check out the website. All the merch is now back up. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. I've already friggin' cut my ankle on it. <laughs> Screw you.